Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we are going to do is that we are going to create the first fragment which is the list fragment in our application. So without wasting any time let's directly go to the apps folder. Let's create the fragment. Select a blank fragment and let's name this fragment as uh, let's say food list fragment and in here as we have unchecked these two options uh, we are also going to uncheck the create layout xml option as well because this fragment is not going to have an xml layout instead what we are going to do is that we are going to inflate or populate this particular fragment from the menu class which we have right here so we don't need an xml layout file for this so we are going to uncheck this option as well and finally hit finish and the fragment is going to be created for you so in this fragment, what we need to do is that in this on create view, we basically need to go ahead and inflate this fragment so that it it's actually going to show up the list items. So the first thing which we need to do here is that we need to make this fragment extend the list fragment. So right now this fragment actually extends the fragment class. Instead, we want to make it extend the list fragment. So once this thing is done, we need to delete entire things which we have in the on create view. And instead what we want to do is that we want to create a new view depending upon the items which we have in menu. So we will type in string names. So we are basically creating an array equals new string and it's actually going to have the length of menu dot menus dot length. So once we have created this array, let's basically add elements to this array using a loop. So we type for integer i equals zero i less than name start length and that is going to be i plus plus and in here we type names of i that is basically adding the elements to the newly created array equals menu dot menus and specify the index as i and use the get name method to basically get all the names from the menu class Okay, so once we have this names in the names array, the next thing which we need to do is that we need to go ahead and somehow find a way to attach these names to the fragment in terms of a list view. So in order to do that, what we do is that we use an array adapter. So what we will do is that we will type in array adapter over here in order to create an array adapter. So that's going to be array adapter and this is going to be of the type string. And let's name this thing as adapter. This equals new array adapter string. And this is going to get an inflate inflator dot get context to basically get the current context. Then you need to pass in the layout. So that's going to be Android dot R dot layout dot simple list item one. And we are basically going to pass in the names array to this particular adapter. Now once we have this adapter, you just need to set up the adapter. So you type set list adapter, pass an adapter over here, which we have created just right now. And we are basically good to go. And once this thing is done, you finally need to return the view. So return super dot on create view. And this is going to pass in inflator, the container and the saved instance state. So once this thing is done, we are pretty much good to go. So now what you need to do is that as we have added the detailed fragment to the main activity, you also need to add this fragment to the main activity as well. So for that purpose, we switch to the main activities XML file, which is this file right here. And over here on the top, you need to add a fragment over here. But even before doing that, what you need to do is that you need to make this relative layout to linear layout. And also you need to set up the orientation to horizontal. So once these two things are done, you could basically go ahead, type in fragment. The width is going to be zero DP in this case. And I'll tell you why in a second. And the height is going to be match parent. And the width for this is going to be zero DP as well. And the height is going to be match parent. And now what we will do is that we will assign weight to these two fragments. So the layout weight of this is going to be two and the layout weight of this is going to be three. So the layout weight basically says uh, how much portion of the entire activity a particular fragment is going to acquire. 
so this is going to acquire this is going to acquire the two this two parts and this is actually going to acquire three parts if the entire activity is divided into five parts so once this thing is done you also need to specify the class for this particular fragment so we type class equals and you select the second class which is the food list fragment which is nothing but the fragment which we have created right now so once this thing is done we are pretty much good to go so basically now we have the main activity set up with two fragments this is the list fragment which we have created right now and this is the detailed fragment from the previous lectures so once these two fragments are done the only thing which remains is that we need to add listeners to this particular fragment so let me just open up the presentation so this is the first fragment and now what we want to do is that we basically want to listen to the events when we basically go ahead and select one of these items from the first fragment so we are going to add listeners to the first fragment in the next lecture so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you